Hey everybody, welcome to the Scented Heaven. I'm Heidi and on this channel it's all about fragrances. So if you're interested in smelling amazing, hit that subscribe button. This video today is a tag video. Francis from Happiness Sparkles has created the tag Keeping Only the Fragrances I Love. Frances is such a lovely, kind and supporting fragrance reviewer. I will link her channel and her video down below in the description box, as well as the channel from Sunny Sands. Sunny tagged me to do this video, so if you don't know these two channels yet, check them out. It's such a pleasure watching their videos. So to describe the meaning of the tag, keeping only the fragrances I love means that die hard loves. So I have discovered a lot of fragrances I love and I enjoy wearing um, in the last six months. So these are big loves, but they are new to my collection. And I didn't want to take the risk that they are or they will be replaced with another new loves in the next month. So these fragrances here I will show you are the ones I own for at least one year or several years. And these are real my die hard loves. I'd like to start the fragrance. Um, most reviewer um, would call it a special occasion and a night out fragrance. But to be honest, for me, this is an easy grab. And it's the best jasmine fragrance in my collection. It's none other than Tom Ford's Jasma Rouge. So this is a unique and special jasmine fragrance. Um, this is slightly aromatic, it's warm and it's mixed with yellow florals. It's an outstanding creation in my opinion. This is so good. And the notes in here are cinnamon, ginger, bergamot, cardamom, pepper and mandarin orange in the top. In the mid there is jasmine, ylang ylang, neroli, broom and clary sage. And in the base there is amber, vanilla, Woodsy notes, leather and French labdanum. So there are a lot of notes in here. And this is a deep and intense fragrance. But I think it's non-offending. I'm wearing this fragrance also during the day, not only for night outs. Because it doesn't feel like this heavy hitters. So there's the depth to it. But it's not that beast mode heavy hit the fragrance. It's um, a warm floral fragrance. It's a white floral and a yellow floral. And uh, you get this really warm and aromatic feeling from the clary sage. And you get the warm spices in here. So there's not a heavy dose of cinnamon or cardamom or pepper in here. At least I don't get much of this spices it's more about the sparkling and fresh ginger so i get the ginger the bergamot and the mandarin orange in the opening and i get this yellow floral warm spicy ylang ylang and the slightly aromatic touches from the clary sage yes of course jasmine is the main player but it has a tender creaminess to it that gives it this them to the fragrance. It's a very sophisticated scent that works for day and night and year round in my opinion. It smells luxurious um, without being stuffy or overdone. So this is definitely one of my most favorite Tom Fords and of course this amber vanilla base with this French labdanum and the leather in here. So the leather is not overpowering. I don't really get it to be honest. So this is not a heavy leather fragrance, it's more about this deep amber, vanilla, white and yellow floral. Yes, Jasmine, the main player in here, but a special, unique creation. Such a pleasant Jasmine fragrance. Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford. So the next one is this one is a heavy hitter a boozy heavy hitter and that's Barra Onda by Nasumatu. 
and this is my favorite boozy fragrance it's woody it's boozy there's a lot of whiskey in here so this is the more the autumn and winter um, evening fragrance so this really is for spe special occasion my husband also wears it and you see you don't need much of this lit liquid um, a few sprays and <laughs> everything is okay you will smell it the whole night you will smell it another day on your clothes so this is the really beast mode fragrance a heavy hitter this one leaves a trail so the notes in here are whiskey woodsy notes ambrad ambroxan rose and musk but um, the main players in here is whiskey musk and Yes, you get the ambroxan and you really get the wood. So it smells like the whiskey with the whiskey barrel. So you don't only get the drink, you also get the whole barrel in this fragrance. This is totally unisex. As I said, my, ma my husband and I, we both wear the fragrance. So this is right in the middle, in my opinion. Maybe people say it's a little bit masculine. But I really enjoy wearing this fragrance. I adore it. I love it on me. I love it on my husband. I love this hint of rose here. So maybe if you don't know rose is in here, you wouldn't detect it. But so I have the notes here and you get this hint of rose, this warm amber, the boozy woods, the whiskey. Yes, so this is the best boozy fragrance <clears throat> ever the best boozy fragrance in my collection i haven't seen better ones so this will never leave my collection and yes um it's uh, so full we have a decant of this fragrance so we also uh, use the decant um yes i'm happy that <laughs> it's still that full yes my loved baronda by nasomatum so my next big love is a rose fragrance, a romantic and lipsticky rose fragrance and its name is Lipstick Rose by Frederick Mahl and created by Ralph Schwieger. So I love these bottles. You can read the creator of the fragrance on the top of the bottle. So and this is a powdery lipsticky rose violet fragrance. I adore this smell. It's a little bit vintage. It's so romantic. And this also is a heavy one. It's powdery. You get the violet, the rose. The notes in here are violet, rose, white musk, vanilla, amber, iris, grapefruit and raspberry. So the raspberry to me smells like cherry. It smells a little bit like cherry lipstick. It smells waxy, so you really get that lipsticky smell, like a classic cosmetic smell. It's heavy on the violet. There's a certain warmth and heaviness to the fragrance. So um, I don't think you will offend people with this fragrance, but don't overspray it. This is a deep, intense, warm fragrance. You don't need too much sprays and yes wonderful seductive sensual night out fragrance but also very cozy i also wear this fragrance during the day and this also is a kind of easy grab and go for me although it's such a deep warm intense sensual sexy night out fragrance it's also this coziness this warm and cozy and this cherry raspberry smell so it's fruity it's a sensual fruity sophisticated seductive fragrance such a nice one lipstick rose by frederick mall so the next fragrance is a well-known one i think everybody knows this fragrance or um, knows the name and the fragrance house and this is Intense Coffee by Montal. So yes, of course, 
I don't need to spray this fragrance. It's so intense and heavy. It fills a room. So this is, as the name says, a rose coffee vanilla fragrance. Um, the notes in here are floral notes, rose, coffee, vanilla, white musk and amber. And that's what you get. You get the florals, the rose, the coffee, you get the vanilla, you get this fluffy musk in here. It has some kind of fluffy feeling, although the fragrance is really heavy and intense, quite potent. So I get a strong and sweet coffee note um, with a bunch of dark red roses, followed by some other floral notes. And yes, and the coffee stays the whole wear, so or at least the first hours, five hours, I think, because people say the coffee is only with the first spray, then it disappears. Not for me, I can smell the coffee for hours in here. So the heart of horses and coffee they are, just, are so well rounded and I adore this gorgeous combination. In the dry down, there's this thick and balsamic amber, the delicious vanilla, heavenly powdery white musk. I get um, burnt sugar. It's not listed to here, about, but it's it's like this burnt sugar smell, so I don't get tired of this fragrance. I own it now sometime, but it's pretty likable. Also, it's so strong. I find it non-offending. I get a lot of compliments with this one. It's a stunning special occasion fragrance, sensual, seductive and intoxicating. That's Intense Coffee by Montal. So my next choice is a fragrance, nobody talks about it, but this is big, big love and an easy grab and go for me. So I don't have to be in the mood and it's non-offending, but it's so lovely and beautiful. And this is Cartusia Lady by Cartusia. This is a floral, Warm, spicy, woody, powdery, a little bit mossy and yellow floral fragrance. And there are a lot of notes in here. This is so beautiful, powdery. It smells pink and powdery, but also sophisticated, a little bit vintagey and so romantic. So the notes in here are rose, ylang ylang, cyclamen, lily of the valley, bergamot, lilac, jasmine and gardenia. In the mid there is carnation, cloves, geranium, peach, iris and violet leaf. And the base is oak musk, musk sandalwood, tolo balsam, patchouli, ambergris, vanilla and cedar. So a bunch of notes in here, but this creation is gorgeous. So it's warm, it's spicy, it's powdery, woody. You get this ylang ylang in the mid. Um, it's a shipgoy floral. Yes, you get this huge bunch of flowers. Lilac, iris and violet bring this great dose of powder to the scent. And there's a little bit of smooth fruitiness from that peach note. And you have the sweet spices from the cloves. The tolo balsam make the fragrance deep and warm, but not as deep and warm like um, Barraonda, Lipstick Rose or Montal. So it's more in, in the way like Chasma Rouge by Tom Ford. And yes, it's a little bit mossy from the oak mass and the patchouli brings some interesting edges to the fragrance. But all in all, it's heavenly, beautiful, um, white and yellow floral rose perfume. Pleasant and charming, like a classic old school charm, romantic, feminine and quite addictive. Cartusia Lady by Cartusia. So next one is a oldie but a goodie, quite affordable and such a great fragrance. The best fruity fragrance in my collection and this is Casimir by Chopin. 
I've went through several bottles. <laughs> I have big bottles and smaller bottles. Um, I have worn this fragrance for years and I still love it. It will never leave my collection because that's such a great fruity vanilla fragrance. So you get the peach apricot vanilla creation. It's a vanilla, amber, fruity, warm, spicy fragrance in this lovely oriental style and in this beautiful oriental bottle. I love the style of the bottle. So gorgeous. So the notes in here are peach, apricot, coconut, raspberry, mango, blackcurrant and bergamot. In the mid there is cinnamon, carnation, mandarin, orange, geranium, jasmine and lily of the valley. And the base is with vanilla, benzoin, tonka bean, opopanax, amber, sandwood, musk and patchouli. So these are all the notes in here and they make a gorgeous bouquet of notes. So the most recognizable fruit is peach and apricot and mango. It feels like um, coming home to mom. She has, um, she made an apricot pie and yes, people say it smells like apricot pie and yes, with a lot, lot of vanilla sugar. Yes, and the middle notes are so well blended, nothing stands out and you get this, this warm base of vanilla benzo and the tonka bean, all these sweet notes and the warm amber sandalwood. Such a lovely warm oriental creation and so fruity, fruity and sweet. So this is one of my best fruity fragrances in my collection. Sensual and feminine, a little bit vintage. So this is from the 90s, I think. Yes. And you get it for such an affordable price. Great value. Casimir by Chopin. So the next one is from the house of Amani, the Privé line. And that's Armani Privé Bert Malachite. This is a woody aromatic fragrance. Uh, it starts with bitter orange petit grain. So this feels green like the bottle is. In the mid there is jasmine, sambac, ylang ylang and pink pepper and the base is of lily, vanilla and benzoin. And this is such a creamy floral fragrance. This is creamy and green. Yes, it's one of the mo my most worn fragrances in spring. With the first initial spray you get the juicy orange smell and then you are left with the green citrus note of pettigram and then in the mid the lily and jasmine are gorgeous in this fragrance you get the soft spiciness from ylang ylang and the pink pepper there's a rich deep base with benzoin and vanilla and all these notes are so well blended it feels exquisite and high graded and um, that green, creamy green scent is so unique so it's so creamy like whipped cream but you also have this green feeling this green smell with that pettigram i adore this fragrance so i love this one in spring uh, this is a special occasion fragrance i would say but you can also wear this during the day it's non-offending, but this is intense and potent and long-lasting. You have to wash your clothes. You will smell them the next day. And yes, gorgeous. Wonderful jasmine fragrance. Um, it smells a little bit like tuberose. Also, there is no tuberose in here. But this um, lily, ylang ylang and jasmine creation um, has this tuberose feeling, to me at least. So this is Wert Malachite by Amani Privy. So I have to start a new row here. Put it here. So, and the next is a classy one. And this is my favorite Chanel fragrance. It's Coco Eau de Parfum by Chanel. And to be honest, you can see it, I don't wear it quite often, but I adore this smell. 
This is so beautiful, it's oriental, so classy and sophisticated. This really is a special occasion fragrance. I would never wear this at home or during the day. This one fills a room. So this is so potent. This is a beast mode fragrance. It has this animalic touches to it. It's a warm, spicy amber fragrance. This is so I have to spray it. I spray it, but this room would <laughs> smell the whole day. This is so wonderful. The notes in here are Bulgarian rose, coriander, peach, jasmine, and mandarin orange. In the mid, there are cloves, rose, orange blossom, mimosa, and clover. And in the base, there is amber, sandalwood, tonka beans, civet, opoponax, vanilla, and labdanum. You get this touch of civet, but it's not too heavy, so it's no problem for me. This is an intensely sweet balsamic oriental. It's powdery, floral, and malic. You get a bunch of flowers, juicy peach, mandarin orange in the opening, and the base has it all. It's warm, spicy, intense balsamic from the versions, and sweet, creamy from the vanilla, tonka, and the sandalwood. This is the classy 80s fragrance. It smells so good. Sophisticated, elegant, gentle, but strong, feminine, and seductive. Coco is a masterpiece perfume. Deep golden, noir and heavenly beautiful. A perfume made to perfection. This is Coco Eau de Parfum by Chanel. So there are two fragrances left. The next one is my favorite Magnolia fragrance and that's Magnolia Rosé by Lancome. So this is an amber floral fragrance um, with the notes of rose, magnolia and white musk. And I love this smell of magnolia because this is a smooth one. So I don't really enjoy this um, too fresh and citrusy magnolia, but I love magnolia. I have one in my garden and I love this blossom when it blossoms in the uh, spring. And the most, as I said, are more in this fresh um, with the citrus touch, but this one, this is smooth. It's sleek, it's glossy. So this is a charmy, silky, floral dream. With this shiny mask in here, it has a rich and um, deep base. It's quite versatile, so you can wear this fragrance day and night, the whole year round. So this would be a great signature scent, in my opinion. Yes, it's so pleasant. It's... <sighs> Yes, I tried a lot of Magnolia perfumes. I tried so many, but yes, this one is the winner. Sensual and timeless, elegant, soft and feminine. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> this is the most beautiful Magnolia fragrance I know. Magnolia Rosé by Lancome. And last but not least, um, Yes, a fragrance, a quite playful and girly and sexy fragrance. I went through several bottles. It was a signature scent of mine and it will never leave my collection. And this is Poison Girl Unexpected from Dior. So this fragrance opens with the note of ginger, blood orange and lemon. And you can hear this is a sparkling opening, a pleasant, Yes, this is such a surprisingly fresh and sparkling interpretation of the Poison Girl perfume. So in the mid there is Damask Rose and in the base there is Vanilla, Tonka Bean, Hazelnut and Kashmir on. So the Rose, the Damask Rose in the heart is modern and fresh, a little bit sweet and powdery. You get that fluffy cloud of sugared vanilla, Tonka, the orange rind and spice like a ginger biscuit so you really get this ginger this blood orange and lemon it's so sparkling and happy and jolly um, in the first initial spray and um, yes it stays during the wear so this fresh sparkling and citrusy feeling stays during the whole wear and then 
When it dries down, you get this delicious hazelnut tonka vanilla base with the cashmere run. So, yes, it's so pleasant. It's sparkling, it's happy, girly, but also sensual, sexy and feminine. Amazing fragrance. This will stay in my collection forever. Poison Girl Unexpected by Dior. So these are my die hard loves. So now it's your turn. What are your die hard loves? <laughs> Tell me in the comments down below. I love to hear from you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and give me your thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.